Okay, I just wanted to share a stunt I do with my students when we talk about tunneling inside a planet. Uh, we figure out all kinds of things about it, how to figure out the force of gravity inside the planet, how to figure out the potential energy you create when you lift something through a hole in the planet, how fast it's going, and also how long it takes to uh, travel through a tunnel through the planet and come back. And we start out class with me explaining we're going to do this, but none of this stuff is on the board. Uh, but I explain I've tunneled all the way through the Earth, and the other side of this tunnel comes out in uh, a colleague's classroom in a physics class in China. And so what we're going to do is drop the golf ball through this tunnel. It's going to go all the way through the Earth and come back, and our job is to predict how much time that's going to take. So we first carefully take this off. Make sure the magma suppression system is functioning. Looks good. And here we go. And then we start the timer. Then we go through all this. And if you look at the comments for this video, you'll see there's a link to a set of uh, slides I go through explaining all this. Uh, but you're, if you're watching this, you're a physics teacher, you can figure this out. So the ball is falling. We go through all this and do all kinds of other things in class. And when we get to the end, we find out it's going to take 84 minutes to um, go all the way through the Earth and come back, assuming uniform density. Our class periods are 90 minutes long, so that's perfect. And so when the ball is uh, 21 minutes from when I dropped it, uh, I mentioned, hey, uh, it's going through the center of the Earth. 42 minutes later, a little bit after that, I'll have my cell phone ring and it'll be uh, the Chinese teacher on the other side of the world telling me the golf ball made it and that it's on its way back. Uh, and then another 20 minutes, 21 minutes, it's going through the center of the earth. And then now when it's 84 minutes, I'll get that out of your way, uh, it's about ready to come back. So to show this, so I've of course put the lid back on. We don't want an eruption of magma. Uh, I guess when it's out, it's lava. And so now it's coming back, so I can hear it. It's, it. The timer would say 84 minutes, and I put my ear to the tunnel. I can hear it. Here it comes. Oh, yay. And so it definitely worked, except, oh, it's not. It looks like the same golf ball, but there's a Chinese character which is saying hello from China. So if you like doing stunts like this, uh, you don't have to go to this extreme. Uh, the first few years I did it, I just had this piece of PVC pipe, and what's inside is one of those things you use, whoops, one of those things you use to um, practice putting in golf. So when the golf ball is sitting in there, uh, I turn on the thing and it pops it back out again, and that's that's really the whole stunt. I also added this red LED light for the magma. Uh, the other stuff I, I'm getting carried away with, but uh, you might after you do this a few years. So I recommend adding this stunt. Uh, if you do talk about gravity inside the Earth, uh, it's kind of fun. Some things you can do further, you can actually write the equations of simple harmonic motion to show the position and velocity as a function of time as it goes through the Earth, so you can track when it reaches the mantle and things like that. Um, if your class period is shorter, you can actually have your counterpart in China throw the golf ball back so it makes it back to your class in time, and that's a whole other uh, calculation, but it, it can be done, although I think he has to throw it kind of fast. Uh, so give this a try. Uh, contact me if you uh, have any questions, and have fun.